fuck is up my britches? If you're new here, hello, my name is Brittany and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about 10 things that I'm shook that I did not purchase during the Sephora VIB sale. So as most of you probably know, Sephora used to have only two sales a year. They would have one in April and then one in November for the basically like spring summer sale and then their fall winter sale. I would say the past like year or so they've had way more sales. They're very competitive with Ulta now especially but they've been having a lot more sales so I don't really get as excited about the VIB sale like I used to. So this year I didn't buy anything which wow I cannot believe I didn't buy a thing but since the sale has ended I've run out of a couple things so I will be going in store today because if you didn't purchase from the VIB sale make sure you guys check your emails if you're still eyeing something or whatever. I did get an email today for another 20% off coupon. So I'll be going in store today, but I just thought this would be a fun video because I know consumerism is huge right now. Anti hauls are huge and I have all these things in my loves list. So I'm going to go right on my Sephora app. So if I'm looking down, I'm just looking at my loves list and we're just gonna chit chat about things that you guys are probably shook that I didn't buy them either. So let's get into it. So the first thing is going to be the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. So this is a $67 eyeshadow palette. If I'm going to purchase palettes for that price tag, this is the time that I get them. And initially, I think I even mentioned this in a Will I Buy It video, I was not interested in it at all. And then the more that I kept seeing people talking about it, like Karen Harris got me first because she messaged me. She's like, Brit, and she's like swatching them and everything. I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Like, I love the packaging on it. I think it's beautiful. But then this is another thing. Like, we were in New York City during the sale and I'm still shocked because they had so much stuff I'm like, how didn't I buy at least one thing during the sale? And this was the main thing. Like I saw it in store and that's what I was just like, nope, I don't need this. Cause in store, I just, I don't know. Maybe it was the lighting. I just didn't get that excited feeling about it. So that was one. I was just like, I'm really surprised because initially I was like, no, I'm not interested in it. And then the more I saw it, I'm like, yes, I'm definitely buying it. And then I went back to, nope, I'm not buying it. It's just so funny how that works now. But I'm at the point too, I'm like, I have so many eyeshadow palettes right now. There's so many other amazing eyeshadow palettes that I'm more interested in. So that was why I did not buy the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Next thing is going to be from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Highlighter Wand. This is going to be $38 and I'm talking about the shade Peach Gasm. So this has been sold out forever now. It was sold out for the longest time and I love Pink Gasm so much. Pink Gasm is my number one liquid blush in my collection. So I was very interested in Peach Gasm. And then it came back in stock for the sale. And then since I didn't purchase anything during the sale, I am still shocked. I'm like, how didn't I buy this? So maybe you'll see that in my next haul video. Maybe you won't. We'll see. But I just, I love the formula. I love the packaging. I know a lot of people don't really like the packaging either, but I love it. So I'm very surprised at myself that I didn't buy this. Um, next thing you're going to be, I'm going to group these two together. These are the Tower 28 Shine on Jelly Lip Gloss Duo. So they have two duos. They're $22 a piece. I didn't purchase these just because I wish they had like one of them is a limited edition and then one of them is an original, which in most cases I would like that just because I could always at least use one of them. But the one that I'm more interested in is the Naughty and Nice and that's the one that I already have the chill gloss. That's just the clear gloss. I love this lip gloss formula, but this is something that I would purchase like anytime just because it's only $22 for two lip glosses like that's drugstore price range. And that was just the main reason. I'm like, eh, it's just one thing that I don't really need right now. I wish that they sold them individually just so I could get just the limited edition shades. But then I'm even at the point too, I'm like, I'm not really buying limited edition stuff anymore because I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it long-term. Like I could totally foresee this brand being one of those brands that once it's gone, it's gone, it's not coming back. The next thing is going to be the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask Limited Edition Mint Chocolate Chip. So this is another $20 item. This is something that I would typically purchase at any time just because 20% you don't save that much honestly. So this is a formula that I know that I love but why I'm so surprised about this is one it's limited edition go figure but it's mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip is my shit and we're in like fall winter months right now so my lips are a lot more dry than they typically are so this would be a product that I would be eyeing this time of the year. So I don't know maybe you'll see this in a haul video. I don't know yet we'll see we'll see what other stuff that I pick up because that's more or less like I need to buy the stuff that I need to restock and then we'll see the price that I'm 
<laughs> and then I'll kind of go from there. The next thing is going to be the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Intense Dressed Up Set. So this is $135, so very, very expensive. This is something that I had every intention on buying and I just didn't place an order. But I think the main reason that I didn't purchase this like right off the bat was because I knew that I had this one coming from Ulta. This I featured in my recent Ulta haul. This is the Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joya. I called it Aqua de Joya in my last video, but I had this coming. So I think it just kind of slipped my radar. This may still be something you see again in a future haul video, but we'll see. That's just one of my all time favorite fall winter scents. I think it's so beautiful. I love it. So again, maybe you'll see it in a future video. Uh, the next thing I'll talk about are the Sephora Collection Pro Brushes. A lot of them are on sale right now. And then just to save the additional 20% off, like why not? Those are some of my favorite brushes. Another thing that I'm so surprised that I didn't jump all over to buy it, but I've been really scaling back again on my makeup purchases. And I also have been purchasing from other just indie brands or brands that I haven't tried before just to kind of expand my horizons with other brushes. So that was the main reason that I didn't purchase my Sephora brushes. Oh, this next one is going to be from Charlotte Tilbury again. I had every intention on getting this as well. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Mini Lipstick Set. This is going to be $25. Another item I can get anytime because it's only $25. I say only $25 like I'm such an asshole, but that's just like my mentality. I want to get the items that are worth getting that 20% off. But this set, it was another one that I saw in store in New York City, and they are so stinking small. I don't know what it is. Like in my mind, I like the idea of minis because I never go through full size of products. Never. I don't think I've ever gone through an entire makeup product ever in my life. Skincare is another story, but this I just saw and I'm like, I instantly was turned off by it because of how small they were. So again, another product I wouldn't buy during this time just because of the price, but that was one that was really on my list because if you added up all these $20 items, it would be beneficial to get that 20% off. So that's why I thought I'd mention that one. Um, another one is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb like gift set. I love the Fenty Beauty formula. That's my favorite lip gloss formula of all time. And they had a little five piece gift set and that was another one. I saw it in store and I'm like, I wish they were full size. It would just bother me seeing them in my collection being mini sizes and all the rest of them are full size. It's just one of those things that would bother me, but it was $45. So that to me would be worth it to get that 20% off. But I'm so surprised at myself because at first I was so excited about it. And then just the more that I kept seeing it, I really like the shade range. I hope they become permanent. And that's another thing. I'm like, they're limited edition, so I won't be able to use them like I want to. It's just like a compilation of things that I'm just like, no, I can't. I can't justify buying it. And I can take that $45 and buy something that I'm more interested in. Oh, this next one is the Summer Fridays Merry and Brighter gift set. So this is going to be $64. I cannot believe I did not buy this because I talk so much about the jet lag mask. I talk about it all the time in my skincare recommendations, my Sephora recommendations, all those recommendation type of videos. I always talk about the jet lag mask. And I've been saying, I think I've even tweeted it to Summer Fridays. I'm like, we need a gift set so we could try these other items because I don't want to buy a full size of these other masks because I don't know if I'm going to like them. So I love the fact that they created this gift set because you can try the other masks as well. And their trial sizes are really good sizes, especially for masks. Like those are going to last such a long time. So that's one thing that I'm like 99% sure you're probably going to see that in my haul video because I already know that I love that the full size of the jet lag mask. So I'm so into that one. Uh, the last one I'm going to mention is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. <laughs> you guys know by now, if you've been watching my channel, how much I love Hourglass. Love Hourglass so much. This is another thing. I'm like, how didn't I buy this as soon as the sale started? I don't know what is going through my head lately. I have so much stuff on my list that I'm just like, how? How didn't I do this? <laughs> but maybe all that I needed was this little extra email saying like, hey, here's another 20% off. Like you should have shot the sale. So I just thought this would be a fun video. Let me know if there's anything that you're surprised that you didn't purchase from the VIB sale. And also in the comments, leave anything that you would highly recommend because I haven't gone to the store yet. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace.